Right now, though, let's just not cook mediocre. Let's cook perfectly in the perfect cooker. It's another cooker that's perfect. This one you plug in. Come with me. All right. Meredith Lawrence, Blue Jean Chef, how are you? I'm great. Thanks, David. Your little fingers are flying. Oh, I love my little finger mitts. And they come with? They come with it. These are awesome. These are awesome. But that's not what we're talking about, no, just the mitts. We're talking about a five-cup digital perfect <laughs> cooker. So Cook's Essentials paired with Perfect Cooker. You might have seen our friend Eric Thies yes. with the Perfect Cooker out there. Cook's Essentials partnered with them and came up with a cooker especially for Cook's Essentials. It's five cups. It's digital. Oh, it's no. easy to use. And yes, you get the little finger mitts, which are just so handy. You're going to find out real soon. Now, this was on earlier today. 700 of these already gone today. A lot of you are excited about this. This is a cooker that started its life as a rice cooker, and then we began to realize, oh my goodness, you can do a whole lot more in here. Well, and let me tell you, David, it, it is the perfect little rice cooker. I use this all the time whenever I'm making rice, or, or even rice. Whether it's brown or white rice, it can make it in here, and it's so perfect. And the reason is because this particular pot pushes down on the element inside the pot, and then the lid has a special floating valve in here. You see how that's floating? Well, that actually works to, to tell when the steam is no longer being emitted from the food. Oh, wow. When there's no more steam coming from your rice, your rice is cooked. So this you turn on, it only has, well, has four buttons, but you only need to think about two of them. Rice or cook. So if you're making rice, you press rice, and it just looks after everything for you. When it's done, it goes into a keep warm phase, and you're ready to go. And here's how easy it can be. I'm putting some rice right into the pot, two cups. Now you're thinking to yourself, that five cups is not very much. But let me tell you, you can make a lot of rice in here. As you saw me dump out in front, I'm going to add a few other ingredients just to make it a little more interesting. And I'm going to use chicken stock instead of water. To, uh, to use as the liquid there, and that's going to give it more, more flavor. flavor, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to add that in, and you see how high it comes to the top? You don't have to worry, because this only gets to about 209 degrees, mm -hmm. which is just below the boiling point, so you don't actually ever boil things over. So you do this, you come down here, you press rice, and that's it. It'll start to move in a second, that'll tell you that, hey, I'm working, and then you walk away and you can make the rest of your food no matter what you're doing. Your rice is never going to boil over on the stove top and you're going to have perfect, look at that perfect, beautiful rice. I we could even, taste it. We can even go like this. Oh. There you go. But David, as you said, it does way more. Mm. Sweetie, it's really, really good. And it, you know, isn't it the so nice? The texture is fine. Exactly. Mm. And when you have something like this, you want to be able to do more in it than just rice. So here's something else Love you can rice. do, David. This is a recipe actually that is on my website, bluejeanschef.com. And it's a pizza pasta bake. But look at that. So to me, that would feed at least three people, maybe fewer if one of them is you. I could tear that up. But look at that. So a beautiful, cheesy. Mm. Um, this pasta, David, went in there dry. The pasta went in dry. Wow. Yeah, so that's a big deal. Now, this is not a pressure cooker, okay? It's not going to cook things super fast. It cooks things in a convenient way. So you put the food in there, you walk away, you don't have to pay attention to it. It's not going to boil over. I mean, look how high we got all of our meatballs here. Woo, that is hot. I need some that's more spicy meatballs. That's why you need the finger mitts. Yes, you see? there you go. Now, look at these meatballs, which I'm going to turn out. Look at them. And look how many are in five cups. I have a I have a jumper, two jumpers. Look at that, Look meatball at that. down. <laughs> two of them, got a jumper. Another use for the finger mitts. There you go. Look at that, so beautiful meatballs. And that's a lot of food. Five cups of food is a lot when you can fill it right to the very rim. I'm, I'm, I'm heavy handed with the cheese. That's okay. And then a little, and then a little parsley. Very and now nice. we need some nice cheesy garlic toast. See, I was thinking we needed some little Italian music or something, but oh, yeah. and some red and white checkered tablecloth. Now look at this, David. And a Chianti bottle with a candle. In it. Okay, now you're getting carried away. Look at this. This is an, a little frittata that we're able to make in here. So imagine if you, you know, are somebody who maybe goes to the gym in the morning, or you have a leisurely morning, and you have about an hour on your hands. You pop all your eggs in there. You run off and do the things you need to do, and you come home, and you have this beautiful omelet. Or, hey, you know what? This has a handle. You could take this with you. You could take it to uh, school. You could take it to work. You could have your breakfast there. You could have a nice warm lunch there. You could have that pizza pasta bake for lunch. Mm. You take it to your desk. You plug it in. And by the time lunch time's around, it's Can ready. I tell everyone at lunch that uh, the Blue Jean Chef gave me the recipe? Well, or gave you permission to, to that. eat that at, at work.
<laughs> now here's something else, David, that I think you might just like, and that is a beautiful calzone. Oh, yeah. so you can do you can do uh, pizza dough in here pizza or bread dough, dough and bready things. Look at this beautiful oozy cheesy. I mean, are you not the envy of all your work colleagues when you take that out and tear into that at lunchtime? What? Look at that. So here's <laughs> here's the thing. Like you can make this beautiful calzone in here. You can make your pizza, pasta bake. You can make your rice. You can make your meatballs in here. You can do so many things in here. And I have colors for you too, Meredith. Oh, this sure. is the black. So coming back to, to this end, I've got it in black. Here's the green. I have it for you in purple. Here's the red. Meredith's favorite, the blue. Uh -huh. I believe that's all of them, yes. Yes, that's right. So David, now here's something that we made ahead of time and then we let it cool. Okay. And that is a cheesecake. Now here's why I think cheesecake's great in the perfect cooker. Because sometimes you don't want a whole eight inch cheesecake. Sometimes you just want cheesecake for two people, right? Well look at this little beauty. Look how sweet that is. Two person cheesecake here. And we can cut that as well. Let me grab my knife. And cut, look at that. Cheesecake for two. Doesn't that make you happy? Or just for me. Or just for you. Yes. And you put a little sauce on it. Oh, yes, please. Look at that. How about some fresh raspberry sauce? And then you've got a cheesecake. So now you can make a little cheesecake in here for two people, three people maybe, four if you're really pushing it, or just one of David. I wouldn't ordinarily use this giant spoon, <laughs> but there are no forks. But it was here. made for you. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, how are you doing? I think you just wanted to use that spoon, because look. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bear helping now. Right, right in front of you. Oh. <laughs> well, okay. That's okay. Okay, I'll use that too. <laughs> well, there you go. Stacy, you need to get some of that. So you see, mm. it's more than a rice cooker, right? Here's something that's fun to make as well. You can go and you can get some frozen bread dough at the grocery store. With that frozen bread dough, you let it sit on the counter and proof. You defrost it, first of all. You let it proof on the counter for in, in the vessel, in the pot, for about an hour. And then you put this into the pressure cooker for an hour. And look, you've got a beautiful, you can do wedges if you want to. You can do slices of bread in here. But you've got a nice, fresh baked loaf of bread. Doesn't it smell great? It smells amazing. Are you kidding? And then, of course, you know, you can also do what I love to have for breakfast, which is a beautiful oatmeal. Look at this beautiful oatmeal in here. Again, you just pop it, all the ingredients into the perfect cooker and you let that go. About 40 minutes for this, but it's 40 minutes, David, of unattended time. You're not there monitoring it. You're not there stirring it. You're not there making sure it doesn't boil over because it can't boil over. This only gets to just over the boiling point, around 400, 212 degrees, 209, 12 degrees. But look at all the things. Let's do a little recap. All right. Look, we've got beautiful oatmeal that you can have for breakfast. You want a loaf of bread, that beautiful fresh, fresh baked bread, bread. Oh, in the house. Cheesecake, Cheesecake for two, calzone for lunch, hello, a frittata for breakfast. How about some meatballs for the whole crowd? Pizza, pasta, bake. And then, of course, i telling you every time I make rice, I pull up my little perfect cooker and it just does the whole job right over there. I don't even have to worry about it. That bread is so good. No, thank you. <laughs> is it perfect? Mm-hmm. Good. Because it's made in the perfect cooker. Yeah. Meredith, I'm going to see you Sunday. You will. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. You know who else is here on Sunday? Big celebrity visitor. Very big. It's very, very big. exciting. Really and exciting. I was able to leaf through, shall we say, something that she's bringing, mm -hmm. and it looks great, and I'm picking that up for sure. So, toward the end of the show, we're going to tell you who it is. Very big. Very exciting. It's very big. Very exciting. Very big. You know what else is very big? Three ways to watch QVC. Ready for this? Now, you're watching me right now on QVC's main channel. If you look right there, it's QVC2, and that's PM Style with Leah Williams right now. And that's their big deal they're talking about. And down below is Beauty IQ. Now, if you don't yet have QVC2 or Beauty IQ on your local television, then you want to call your provider and say, hey, why not? But in the meantime, until you do, you can watch it live on QVC.com or you can stream it live on the QVC app. And that's a free download for your smartphone or your tablet. So three different ways to enjoy QVC. And we would invite you to check out all three at any time of day. It's always fun. That always gives you 
three different ways to shop. All right, as we continue in our show, we are two hours down, two hours to go. Make that an hour and 54 minutes left. And let's talk about a one day only priced item. I'm gonna come on the